podcast. In this YouTube channel, I'll share with you my neutral and unbiased views of what is happening in the Singapore property market. On October 26, ULA released the third quarter 2018 real estate statistics. Let's study them in detail to see what the latest property numbers are telling us. I will show you where the numbers show the shrinking size of buyers in the market, why the developers are not doing so well, why West of Central Region is a hidden time bomb, and why more people are buying HDB resale flats instead of private homes. First of all, let's clarify the fact that the 0.5% increase in ULA's third quarter property price index is mainly from landed properties, which shows the increment of 2.3%. There is actually no change in the prices of non landed properties in Q3. Among the three regions, both RCR and OCR have a negative growth of minus 1.3% and minus 0.1% respectively, while CCR shows an increase of 1.3% in PPI. A spokesperson from Collis told the media that the 1.3% increase in CCR is due to demand in luxury projects in the market. But the reality is, for the whole quarter, CCR only managed to move 128 new cell units, which is far from a strong demand in any way. After the July cooling measures, there are significantly less buyers in the residential property market, both in new sale and resale. Resale volume dropped 43% last quarter, from 4,700 in Q2 to 2,372 in Q3. In fact, the number of resale transactions has fallen back to the level of third quarter 2016, when only 2,477 resale units were sold. The prediction that buyers will hold back from buying the next few months after July cooling measures now becomes a reality. We are not sure how many original buyers are held back because of cash flow consideration to pay 5% more in down payment, but there is definitely a psychological barrier there. With resale volume down to the share of 46.3%, over half of the total transactions are from new sale. Dirapus sold 3,012 non netted private residential units in Q3, which looks much higher than the 2,366 units in Q2. But after minus of the 1,000 units of the last minute shopping of buyers on the night of 5th of July, the total number of new sale units in Q3 is lower than the previous quarter. Dirapus definitely have a bad quarter in Q3. The ULA property price index shows that there is no change in non netted private residential properties. But the LSRX non netted private residential resale prices in Q3 shows there is an increase of 0.6% in resale prices. Since the ULA PPI includes both the new sale and resale transactions, while the SRX data only reports resale transactions, the price increase in resale could have been offset by the price drop of new sale in the same quarter. This is the result of developers lowering launch prices and giving more discounts for new projects. But even after adjusting down their launch price, sales are not doing well. The days when new projects were sold out or 85% sold on the first day of launch are officially over. For example, Qingjian Realty extended the marketing job of Jscape to six property agencies and gathered 9,000 at the period weekend, but only managed to sell 27% of total units during its first launch weekend. Early this month, CDL's Whistler Grant sold just 21% during the first weekend. If Dirpus new projects can't sell in the next quarter, there are at least two excuses they can use for Q4. Firstly, the new sale market is competitive with so many new projects launching at the same time. And traditionally, Q4 is a quiet period with few buyers during school holiday and year-end festive season. Anyway, there are only that many first-time buyers, with worsening trade war, with cheating stock prices, and rising interest rates, developers had better be fast before there are more bad news for the property market. But developers still have the task to clear their stocks in the land bank. Even when market has slowed down, they will keep building and launching new projects. 
and third quarter 2C1H, the total supply of uncompleted pipe residential units, excluding ECs, rises 11.8% to reach 50,330 units. Supply is getting more out of control. The property agencies estimate that we can sell 8,000 to 10,000 new units in a year. At this way, we are going. Even if from tomorrow onwards, the government stops all land sales, provided that the economy is doing well for the next few years. Under the most optimistic circumstances, we still need five to six years to clear all the, those units in the pipelines. Of the 50,000 plus in the supply pipelines, over 14,000 units will be launched in the west of central region. From the last quarter onwards, RCL has overtaken OCL to be the top region having the most new projects launched and most new units sold. But unfortunately, RCL is the worst price performer according to the ULA QV figures. RCL is the underdog last quarter, which just done the overall growth of the London private residential properties price index. For the resale market, RCL consistently shows that it is the worst performing region in Q3 in both ULA's private residential resale transaction volume and SRX non-landed private residential resale prices. Lastly, the only good news last quarter is from the HDB resale market. According to the public housing data released by the Housing Development Board, the number of HDB resale flats sold has gone up by 18.9% in the third quarter. Although sales volume has improved, prices are still disappointing. The HDB resale market is the complete opposite of the private residential market, especially in the first half of the year where private home prices keep going up but with no sales volume. There are three reasons why more are buying HDB resale flats now. First of all, the new restrictions with higher down payment and lower loan to value drive marginal buyers to go for more affordable HDB resale flats. Next, collective sale owners have more options for big size HDB flats while saving more cash for retirement or other investment. Thirdly, the recent government's move to reassure older flat owners on new upgrade plans have eased the concerns on older flats in mature markets. It makes sense to buy HDB resale flats when prices have been down since the second quarter of 2013 and prices will remain flat so long as the government continue to launch new BTO flats. That's what the latest property data are telling us. Let me know whether you agree with me and the four points we just covered. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and we will talk again next time.